Is it Moto Mecca? Lighting up for the race. Moto Mecca, 19, early 1970s. You probably know when this was. 1974, maybe. But, uh, early days of Moto Mecca. Big race on a Sunday here, waiting. Waiting to go on the starting lineup. There you got a good shot at the beginning. Yeah, you're coming around the bend. You probably remember this race very well. I think maybe it was on a Easter Sunday. Not sure. But uh, I'm not sure that I was following you. I guess going down the hill. There was one place where you said the throttle stuck going downhill, and that uh, gave you the courage to do it every time. Open it up, let it fly. You're coming, uh oh, I wiped out. Too bad. I'll see you finish the race. Pretty dusty. A lot of motorcycles. The early days of motocross. You were there, pioneer. Don't know if this is the same day. Different race. Different lineup. I think, I think this must be a different time. Moto Mecca had different configuration there, the track. Boy, you'll have to tell me what's going on here someday. As I can't remember. All the support vehicles parked around and we were up on the side of the hill. I think uh, Robert Oyster was there this time. So you'll know what you were riding, trying to follow you, but I'm not sure. Really dusty, not much rain. Hope I'm following you. Although I think uh, somebody else is riding your bike during one race. Was it Chris? Somebody was along with Oyster. I don't know if I'm following you. He'll have to tell me. I thought Beth might like to see these, though. She hasn't seen you in your early days of motocross. Things are a lot more primitive, a little not as sophisticated uh, as equipment. Just didn't require as much money to outfit yourself. State of the art bikes and all the other things that go with it. We'll see. Hairpin turn going up the hill again. Wow. I don't know how you saw. Pretty dusty. Moving around, slowing up. See if I get a closer look. I should be down near the tracks some of the time. Don't know who I'm following now. I probably thought it was you. But I'm not sure. Up and around. 
I don't know how many times you'd go around the track. Was it a definite number? Or just till everybody wore out? On that really tight turn there. We're getting into some big jumps. There you're getting closer. Back down the downhill again. Going up. Wow, jumping downhill. Those are the days. In 1974, it um, three years before you graduated to so be a freshman in high school. Hmm. This might have been 75 by then, and Harry graduated. Somebody finished. Here you come number nine. Going through, finish. Or was it one more lap? Riding somewhere. And they're off. There's somebody that got out ahead. Quick. Crash. Maybe this is the one that Chris rode. The 125. Yeah. Yeah, Chris was probably too young. And there's Andy Lessig. Was he along? Gee, I don't remember. It's been close to 20 years now, 74, 18 years, 19 years, 18 years to 75. Oh, I think waving the flag for something. Another jump coming up. Boy. A lot of motorcycling took place there in a short period of time. Moto Mecca's closed after a very few years. There's a big attraction for the East Coast motocross in the early years. Now I don't know where you'd go around here. You don't see much motorcycling, except over at Oyster's. He still has that track for where guys can practice. He's coming around now. This checkered flag means something. There you are. Really hot day under your canopy, your race crew, pit crew. The days gone by. That's it.